everyone and welcome to a new vlog. In this vlog, well, the first thing I'm going to be doing is stopping down at Riverside Park and doing a bit of fishing. Um, it's a very cold day today. It's uh, just over 30 degrees, I believe, 31 degrees. And uh, I am very cold. Um, anyway, um, I will be going off the shore at Riverside Park. A big portion of the river is not frozen over. Um, I don't own ice fishing stuff, so I'm not going to be ice fishing. I wish I was, but you know what? I highly doubt I'm going to catch anything, but I'm still going to give it a shot. I was just kind of sitting around doing nothing anyways, and I wanted to get out of the house, and it sounded really good. I'm going to be using a Flicker Shad Pro with a diving depth of, I believe it's 10 to 12 feet. Um, it's like greenish in color, uh, like a lime, well, no, not a lime green, a little bit darker than a lime green, with a little bit of uh, orangish yellow on the bottom. And I'm um, hoping to catch a bass, maybe, but uh, probably nothing. I gotta tell you guys, I'm real sick of this weather, and I just want spring to be here already. Um, I really want to do some fishing. Get outside without having to bundle up. Alright guys, I just got uh, to Riverside Park. And by the way, uh, during that intro, I'm sorry that there was a bunch of uh, wind blowing. You could hear the uh, heat going pretty good, but uh, I was very, very cold. I stood outside my car for like like five, ten minutes trying to get everything ready for this little trip here. So I was pretty darn cold. I had to have it on. But the main part up here, that's all thawed out. Uh, yep, that area right there. Right there, that's what I'm going to be fishing. Yep. Okay, now I just need to figure out where I'm going to park. Might as well park right here, I guess. I try to park kind of strategically uh, because I don't want my car to get dinged or anything like that. This is kind of an open area. I don't much like parking in open areas. I wanted to park back there, but I really don't want to circle around. I'm here. Let's get the pole. Let's do this. All right. Okay, guys, I have had quite a bit of bad luck. I'm not going to get into all of it, but I was getting my pole out of the car a minute ago, and the lure got caught in my gloves, and I had to cut my gloves up to get it out. So, luck. I would say is definitely not with me, but I'm still optimistic and I'm still coming out. Let's see what we're looking at here. And I have no idea how deep this water is. All right, let's see what's going on. Now I knew I wouldn't catch anything, and that's fine. And but I at least got to see how one of my new lures feels in the water. It's the uh, flicker shad, one of them anyway, I got a few of them. But uh, it's really interesting, it uh, dives down. I know it has a diving depth of 10, I think it's nine to 10 feet, but I didn't know it would do it immediately. Immediately on retrieval, it dives that quick and it you can feel it kind of tapping the bottom and it has a really like uh, erratic rattle um, I could actually see it catching a lot of fish, and I'm really looking forward to using it when it gets uh, warmer out. I started at Riverside, and then I moved to Huska. Uh, Huska had less people around. I was able to actually, you know, toss my lure out without an audience, which is uh, what I really wanted. Well, I think that's about it for this video, guys. Uh, please like this video, comment, subscribe, and check out my other videos. And you guys have a good day.